Now, this is a picture of C Company, 405th Infantry Regiment of the 102nd Division of the 13th Corps of the 9th U.S. Army in the European Theater of Operations. And that is the company in which I spent about a little over two years. And these are the fellows who went overseas. And there are about 60 people missing out of the picture because just as we were going overseas, they gave everybody who hadn't had a furlough a furlough. And I was one of the ones that didn't have one, so I went home and was not in the picture. But of those guys, only a handful were left at the end of the war. And over 400 men went through that company. Over uh, 300 went in over as replacements to replace the guys that were killed or wounded. Well, I can recognize probably about maybe 20 of them still back from memory. And that's about it. Of course, if they were still living today, many of them are dead. Uh, in fact, only about, of all the people who went through the company, probably 28 to 30 percent are still living. The rest of them have already passed away. These guys were all probably in their 20s mostly. Some were 19, and two of them, myself and Hellerud, were 18 years old. We were the youngest ones in the company. That's Hellerud there. And he was killed by a landmine. This guy lasted um, until February of 44. He was in combat about four months before he got killed. And this is our first sergeant. He was and McClure here. He was my squad leader. That guy was the first sergeant. They were the first casualties. Yeah, Davis lives in Sharpsburg, Maryland. He was shot in the stomach. He was left for dead. Then they came by and he made a movement so they grabbed him and he survived. He died about three or four years ago. And that was the captain of the company. He was wounded twice. Then he left the company and he was there at the end. All these guys were wounded or killed in uh, at Beak. These were the, all the officers of the company here. And then these were the top sergeants in the first row. They all got the first row, you know, everybody else goes in the back. It's just like civilian life. This guy here became first sergeant later, replacing this guy. And that guy was Frank Angelotti from Erie, Pennsylvania. That's a Guerrero. Uh, he's from Texas. And this guy Skinner was from Seattle, Washington. And there's a guy's name was Hamke, he was from Indiana. Tech sergeant, he was a platoon sergeant. This guy, Shemaluski, uh, he was wounded in action and I spoke with him several years ago. He was in bad physical condition, lived in Pittsburgh and he died about two years ago. So... And where were the cooks that gave you the oranges? This guy right up here, he's still living, Giles, lives in Georgia and gave me two oranges. I got yes. friendly with a cook, so I was on KP. And it was a rare thing to get a couple oranges overseas, but he gave me two oranges. Is that the guy in the back row or the second row? Right here, back row. That guy's still living. I talked with him on the phone a couple times. And he, um, he was a, an officer with the VFW for a long time, and then he worked for the government for a while. And he, as far as I know, he's still living. They're all very ordinary looking people. <laughs> yep.